everyone, my name is Shalice, also known as Mommy Trader here on YouTube. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here with me today. We are a family of five and we are trying to achieve something called FIRE, which is financial dependence, retire early, we're trying to retire in about five years to do the things that we wanna do, okay? So we're not gonna just be sitting on a beach anywhere though that would be kind of nice sometimes okay but we'll have the freedom and the flexibility to be able to do that so i hope that you stick around enough so that you can see our journey if you want to know more about investing in real estate cryptocurrency net worth stock market just all ways to really level up and glow up with your finances subscribe to the channel like the video and join us again i'm not a financial advisor your girl is not a fiduciary but you know i teach with the receipts i share all of our accounts you can kind of follow our journey you can see the numbers growing and and my idea or my passion is to really share financial knowledge with a lot of people out there to show them what's possible. You don't have to come from uh, anything rich. We don't come from fancy families. And we started late at 30 years old. I'm 37. So if it's not too late for us, it's not too late for you to achieve whatever your financial goals are. So I hope that you stick around, subscribe to the channel, like the video and join us. So today we're going to be doing our 2022 financial goals check in we are in the sixth month of the year yes 2022 is half gone <laughs> or about to be half gone this video will come out towards the end of um june but it's half gone and again the time goes by so fast it's almost scary at how fast the time goes by but again we're being proactive we're being productive and we're being prepared three p's proactive productive and prepared so i'm going to share with you our goals uh, i did make a lengthy video about our 2022 financial goals i will have it up here on the screen and i will have a direct link to it in the description box below and feel free to check out a lot of my playlists too i think a lot of you especially if you're new to this will find some value uh in that content as well i'm looking down because i have my notes in front of me you will see it up on the screen as well so we had a big goal okay a lofty goal we were reaching for the stars we were shooting our little arrows all over the place because we wanted to like aim high right go big or go home and so we said we wanted to increase our net worth by one million dollars in one year that is a huge goal and i try to be really realistic because one million dollars is a is a big target and so i had did all this math and had all this data again check out that video you'll see all these numbers um because i felt confident that we could reach this goal but what I wasn't counting on was inflation going cray cray, okay? Um, and a recession likely looming and the rate heights just, you know, by the Fed going up and up and up. And so of course that impacts the stock market and our, we have a, you know, quite a bit of our net worth in the stock market, not half of it, but you know, a nice chunk of our net worth in pure stock market entities. So, you know, when the stock market is not, when the stock market is not doing great, then you know our positions are doing great as well but i try to look on the positive side the bright side of things and um there is some growth from when i initially made that video so again i'm all about you know a gain is a gain um but yeah that was the big goal we had one million grow our net worth from one million to two million in one year so our net worth uh as of the end of may of 2020 so last month was about a little over 1.2 million dollars i'll have the exact number up on the screen but a little over 1.2 million dollars so that means <laughs> We're at the six month mark. I have not pulled the numbers for June yet, but we've seen how the stock market's been doing. Unless it has like a crazy rally between, I'm filming this video on June 15th. So unless between June 15th and June 30th, it has a, a huge rally. Um, you know, we don't, I don't know how our net worth will look. But the great thing about it is that our net worth is not just in the stock market. We have cryptocurrency, which is taking a beat. And we have NFTs, which is doing, you know, pretty good. It's holding, it's, it's, it's steady. Um, the home values, which have been doing amazing, even with the rate heights people are still going crazy over these houses not having debt all like helps we have money and treasury bonds i mean we have our emergency funds so we have we have a lot going on my husband has a ton of company stock or shares in this company so we're doing you know pretty good now are we doing enough to get to that two billion dollar mark uh, well let's talk about the three areas so let's talk about 
investments. So year to date, we have invested about $33,000 of our money, not gains or dividends or anything like that. Um, remember, we got a tax refund. We put that money in the market. If we get like extra, my husband got a raise. So instead of taking that payout, just put more money in your 401k if you can, but that's what we did. Um, we maxing out our HSA. We maxed out our Roth IRA as well. With my side business with MT, I'm investing that way. So, you know, it's, it's quite a bit. Our goal was $75,000 this year. And like I said, I didn't count June yet. So I think we're kind of on the mark, but year to date, about 33 thousand dollars yes i know it's a lot of money but we're trying to make sure we we continue with the habits we had the good habits when we didn't make a lot so really what transitions when you start to make more money is you just you save more you invest more you give more um versus giving into like lifestyle creep and things like that now we do go on vacation we do have fun but we budget for those we have sinking funds and we're able to use that money for that type of stuff but you know with raises or pay increases bonuses tax refunds things like that um we put that money to work if that makes sense to you guys but yeah thirty three thousand dollars and that's among the 401k like all the accounts that i talk about here on the channel uh even the children's accounts as well so we're doing pretty good we're happy with the progress but again the market is i don't I, if i had to make a prediction now and i'm just being realistic i don't see us getting to that two million dollar net worth goal you know our overall 2022 goal by the end of this year i just the market is it's on it's going to be on a tear for a while until inflation kind of gets under control but we buy and hold in good companies and who knows maybe when the market comes roaring back we'll be able to hit our five million dollar fire number quicker because we bought when it was low and you know we're able to ride the train off into the sunset when you know the market is coming back um let's move down to property value so this was the shocker here um so uh our property values went up total year to date about hundred and twenty thousand dollars yes you heard me correctly a hundred and twenty thousand and we have three houses so this is not just one house i wish but we have a main home so our main home is the one that's really kicking butt right now we own a single family home we have a finished basement four bedrooms four baths they have a backyard with the deck we have a driveway you know all the the the, sub, the standard suburban house um and we happen to be in one of the top rated school districts in my state so again there's people out here that are calling your houses that will we have like a no solicitation sign on our front door and they still leave stuff anyway they'll call you i've had somebody text me like do you want to sell your house even with the infl with the interest rates going up people are still out here trying to get homes and so as a result it increases the value the the other plus to that is that we don't pay pmi on any of our homes so the equity that we have is much much greater for example our main home we owe about 312 311 thousand dollars on it it's worth about five hundred and eighty five thousand dollars not being very conservative like very conservative a house just sold down the street i mentioned this in one of my previous videos for like six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars Yes, $625,000 and our house is updated. So, you know, it's it's just, that's the market. But yeah, three homes so far in six months. The housing market has been on a crazy tear right now. Or I would say like since the end of 2020, it kind of went crazy uh, in 2021. And it's like absolutely bonkers uh, so far at the beginning of 2022. But again, it all accounts in our you know entire goal, which is trying to get us to the $2 million mark. So again, even with the, the wonderful returns and the equity value in our homes, we're still kind of under the mark when it comes to our overall goal of getting to a $2 million net worth right now, especially like when I add in June, we should have hit around the 1.5 mil, but again, we're at 1.2 mil, you know, so, you know, that's just how it is. But again, we're not discouraged. We're blessed. We're fortunate. And we're just going to, you know, keep moving forward doing it. We're not doing anything different, <laughs> not doing anything different. Um, and the last area was our other assets. So my husband, like I said, has stock in his company. Um, we have metals that I talk about here on the channel often. Um, we have cryptocurrency. We have NFTs. We have our cars. Now, I know some people don't count their car values. I do count our car values. Number one, our cars are paid in full. We have no car payments number two cars usually i will admit are a, a depreciating asset meaning as soon as you drive them off the lot the value goes down but in this market because of the supply chain issues because you know a lot of people want newer cars even used cars and they'll have access to them 
people who own cars have the upper hand right now and as a result it is considered an asset i can sell the car for more than you know i paid for it that's the whole idea behind it and so you know we add our cars into that as well and but we we we're not planning on selling our cars or anything like that but again this is all going into that net worth number of two million so that's why you see me track everything the way that i do because i'm looking at all of the assets that we own now of course you know liabilities are liabilities and keep in mind in all of these numbers i'm talking about does not include the fifty thousand dollars we had set aside for the third rental so that was another way we were trying to get our net worth to two million dollars by the end of 2022 but as of the recording of this video which is june 15th i am bulk recording so you see me in the same outfits we don't have a house under contract yet. Our pre-approval expires June 17th. So we're not going to reapply again. Usually if you're buying a house and you don't have anything under contract by the end of your exp expiration date with your pre-approval, the bank will make you reapply all over again. And we're just not gonna do that considering the interest rates are just going up. So it's kind of cutting into our profit margin and we'd rather just would wait to next year when my husband would get you know his bonus then so uh, i will have a video about what we're going to do with that money but that's not even included in any of these numbers that fifty thousand, because we have set it aside to buy another property but if we do not do that we will put it in some type of investment vehicle you guys know we won't just leave it in capital one and i will let you guys know how that goes but um that's just a quick update on our 2022 two goals i mean we're doing good with our investing year to date. We're at about $33,000. Um, our property value is doing really, really good. Um, our other assets is kind of chugging along, but again, the stock market, we count on those returns as well. And right now the stock market is entering like a bear market, which means, you know, the stock market is going to go down for a little while, but we, we believe in everything that we own and we're just going to continue to dollar cost average and do the things that we're doing. So we may not hit $2 million this year, but when the market comes roaring back, maybe we'll double it and hit 4 million at the end of next year who knows what it'll be but um i am looking forward to going on this ride with you guys and coming back on here month over month sharing all the numbers to see how close we are to our goal so let me know how your 2022 goals are coming your investments maybe property maybe any goals you had at the beginning of the year to buy a house or maybe pay down debt savings all that stuff go into your net worth guys all of it go into your net worth and stay tuned for our june net worth video that'll be coming out in a little while um where we'll see like how everything was going <laughs> how our money was doing for the month of june and really get a more accurate description of like where we are at at the exact halfway mark of 2022 but i mean if this is a gauge we're not going to be you know too far ahead i mean it is what it is but again we're not discouraged about it if we don't reach a two million dollar goal it's okay i mean 1.2 million is nothing to be mad at either <laughs> okay so again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe share hit the little bell notification button so that you don't miss upload every time I post a video. And until next time, y'all already know, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Have a good one. Bye-bye.